diaphragm breathing. Ah! What if I just handed you the keys to a hundred million dollars and a Lamborghini and a boat and a plane and a house on the rocks and everywhere else that you ever wanted to go? That's what I'm gonna do for you right now. guys so here is the deal for today okay we cool. post every single day on YouTube yes we're posting four five six seven eight nine ten times a day on Instagram if you don't follow us on Instagram Taylor dot nine and K T nine underscore underscore right follow us there we're posting all the time on Facebook and people are asking us how do you come up with so much content that actually makes sense it's that true. like you're not just putting up crap online okay yep. so today Today, what did we do, Kale? We put together nine. Put together nine ways, nine filters, filters that you can put anything through, nine questions you can ask yourself. Is this content good enough to put out on the internet? Is basically right. what it is. And it's content for anything, whether yes. it's a YouTube channel or a Facebook ad or an Instagram post. And even if you're like selling something with an ad on Amazon FBA, or you're selling a digital product, or you're exactly. doing anything, anywhere, anytime, put any content any online. Any content through these nine filters and I promise you it'll work. If you're making content for your bedroom wall and you're thinking, will this be great for my bedroom wall? Put it through these nine filters. If you're making content for YouTube, will anyone watch this? If you're making content for Facebook, you get the idea. All right, nine things. Here we go, number nine, and this is what we did initially, so I hope you're not like mad at us for clickbaiting you. We were trying to break through the noise. So the question you're gonna ask yourself is, will this content break through the noise and grab attention, will it? And I mean, like, we have to ask ourselves this question for every video, right? Yeah, exactly. But I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that if you're watching this video right here, right now, yeah. then it did break through the noise. Like, what we did worked. <laughs> we, we proved our content. Correct. We proved it I because feel cool. you're watching this, talking about us, and it broke through the noise for you because everyone's busy. Everyone's got a lot going on. Yeah. But will it break through the noise. Is it unique? We've talked about people like mm -hmm. Ty Lopez before. We've talked about Gary Vee. Yeah. All these people that are extremely good at making something unique and breaking through the noise. Yeah, exactly. One of the one of the best quotes that you can remember, guys, is not taking risks is riskier than taking risks. So take risks. Grab attention. People are busy. Think of it like yourself. How often, how quickly are you scrolling? Can you grab attention and break through the noise? Okay, number eight. Hit number up. eight is heart or head. So good. Okay. Is the video going to appeal to someone's heart or is it going to appeal to someone's head? Now, right. I am not telling you that every single video needs to be a sob story about how you oh lost your job gosh. and you don't have any money and your mom's sick and you're, you broke your back and blah, 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 <laughs> and try to just like get <laughs> people to cry, back. right? Yeah. What I'm telling you is, is that the reason like people watch these, God, I'm, I want to get into like number 17 or something, Yeah. but you need to appeal to people's emotions. It's called using ethos, if we're gonna bring some Latin into it. Ethos? Ethos. Good word. Appeal to people's emotions. So good, so good. That's pretty much, I don't even think we need to belabor that, guys. Do you know how to make content that makes someone feel something? After you watch your video, did you feel anything here? Right. Or did you just feel, or did you just learn something? And try to do both. So and so usually like, you can do both. For us, it's like, at the end of the video, are you excited? At the end of the video, are you motivated? At yeah. the end of the video, are you inspired to go out, do something, make some money online somewhere, right? That is the emotion that we are trying to hit. Exactly, and at least if any emotions we made them feel in this video, right. we made them feel frightened at the beginning. Correct. And we screamed oh, at them. Absolutely, That's I don't even know if you're gonna be able to, un I, we're filming it, but could you actually understand what yeah. Kale was saying at the beginning? Yeah, type below what I said in the intro. Okay, number seven. Yep. Is there motivation to share this <sighs> content? So watch back whatever you made, okay? And figure out, is someone going to share this? Is there not even, is the, are they going to? Because if you make the content, you're gonna be a little biased. You're gonna be like, okay, someone's definitely gonna wanna share this, it's amazing, but you're biased. Yep. Look at it from a perspective of, did you tell them to share it? Did you give them any sort of incentive to share it? Did you give them a reason to share it with someone else? Absolutely, that's all it is. Is there motivation to share it, right? Number six. Number six. Is hey, it? Wait, I'm gonna give them motivation to share it. Okay, okay, okay. Go, okay if go, you go. give them motivation to share it, wait, what motivation can I give them? We'll love you forever. I mean, that's good. What? I mean, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Motivation to share it, here it is. Yeah. If you stay till the end of this video and you share it and you smash the like button, yeah. here's what will happen. We will give you the number one filter hack 
tip, trick to have good content on any platform ever. Won't they get that if they just watch the rest of the video? Kale, you weren't supposed to say that! Here, here's what we'll do. If you hit the like button and you share this with someone and someone comes to this video and comments, I came here because X person came here, I will put you in a contest for $100 that I just made up right now. You can't just give away $100. Yeah, I can. All right, guess we're giving away $100. Okay, number <laughs> six. Is it human? Yeah, this okay. is Here's something you have to realize. Is that real? Is something happening in here? It's kind of hard to finish this video with this volume. Well, our apologies. Um, actually, whoever burned down the buildings, apologies. Correct. The fire alarm went off. Yeah, and we walked down and up nine flights of stairs. So, so. here we are. There's that, and but um... We're still super excited, and we are back to the content. Back into it! Okay, so number six. Is this it human? human? Okay, what do we mean by that? I mean that when you're creating content, once again, whether it's a YouTube video, whether it's a Facebook ad, or whether it's anything, yep. this is this is why the internet is such like a, a wild, wild west, it's so okay? True, yeah. Is because in every form of media before now, there was always a producer. And a director and yeah. an assistant producer and all of these people in between the people who are actually talking to the camera and what the people actually saw on their screens, exactly. right? Exactly. When you're doing stuff like what Kale and I are doing or when you're promoting your own product, when you're doing whatever you're going to do, mm -hmm. there's nothing in between you and your audience. Yeah, there's nothing there. It's like, here's the camera. Hello, hi audience. There's no one behind here. Like, look at this. I'm moving the camera. Kale is moving the camera. Like, there's no director. We don't have a script, and that is key, guys, because I think lots of people try to make it too perfect. You try to make your content like Hollywood style, and that's not really what people want from you, right? And that leads us right into number five, yep. okay? You have to ask yourself, will this build a relationship with your audience? So good. So it's human content, and obviously that means sometimes not editing out your mistakes, sometimes not being perfect, sometimes being more open and real than you would be if it was scripted, but then number five is building a relationship. So. How can I connect with you even though you're behind a camera? Yep. How can I make, how can we build a relationship? I can say stuff like, hey, hit me with what you think about this video. Comment a real question about this video. And I actually mean that, by the way. If you have a question, if you have a concern, if you have a, something that you would like to say nice to us, literally anything, we would love to communicate with you in the comment section because we want to make this a relationship. Absolutely. And this goes so far because not only will it build a relationship, but when you're creating content, you need to make sure that you're returning the engagement, right? Yeah, so good. If you post on our YouTube, we will respond. Yeah. Okay? That's it. that's it. We yeah. will, okay? And like, I, I love this example, okay? So imagine if you were, if Kale and I were making all these videos, we were daily, right? Yeah. And we only had one subscriber. Mm -hmm. But that one subscriber was Gary Vaynerchuk. I would trade. And he it watched crazy. one of our videos and then he shared it on his platforms. Yeah. That one subscriber is worth more than 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. So it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have or how many views you're getting or what you're getting or how many impressions you're getting on your ads. It matters what your engagement is because one can be more powerful than 100,000. So good. Number four, will this cause engagement? You're it's, like leading this up been to yourself. To. So ask yourself these questions. These are designed as question guys. And number four is will this cause engagement? And this is kind of a thing, another thing where I think people are biased. They're like, oh, people will engage with this, people will love this, and then you post it and it gets no likes or it gets a couple likes and zero comments. What if you could be more intentional about it, mm. okay guys? Like, give people specific calls to action. Like for instance, here's one right now. Comment below the word engagement if you're still watching this video and you're a part of our loyal nine family. Comment the word engagement. And if you guys are watching this video, scroll to the bottom, you'll see that there are some people that have typed out the word engagement. And why did they do that? Simply because I asked them to. Right, and here's another example for both four and five. Is it gonna cause engagement? Is it gonna build a relationship, right? Another Gary Vee example, okay? Mm -hmm. Gary Vee does not make his hundreds of millions of dollars from ad revenue. So true. He's not just putting a video up and then hoping that it goes viral and then getting a whole bunch of money from ads, right? Yeah. What Gary Vee is doing is Gary Vee builds everything out. He builds YouTube, podcasts, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. He's literally on ev every single thing, okay? But he's not worried about the ad revenue because when he builds relationships and he calls engagement, guess what yeah. he then does? 
he sells a book. Yeah. Or he sells shoes. Yeah, that you bought. Or yes, I did buy them. <laughs> or he sa- he sells invites to a meet and greet with him or any of those things, right? So his money is actually coming from leveraging engagement. his engagement and leveraging his relationships because when he says, "Hey guys, I have this really cool pair of shoes come out." Yeah. I'm like, "I care about Gary Vee." So true. I want to support him even yeah. though in my head I know he's worth like 300 million dollars. I'm like, oh. "I could Buy this and support Gary Vee. I'm going to do it. And that's what it's all about. Exactly. And guys, you will make more money from 10,000 or from 1,000 or from five engaged subscribers than you will from 10 times, 100 times, a million times people that are just watching and leaving. I promise you that. We have seen that happen in our own businesses. Okay. So number three is this simple thing. What versus how? What versus how? Which one do they want? You want what? Okay. How you make your content. How you're delivering your content, yeah. how you're filming your content doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is how expensive your camera is doesn't matter. And it's funny because you were just saying we need to get a better I camera. I do actually want a new yeah. camera, but that's, I guess it's kind of contradictory. But at the same time, like, it doesn't matter, especially if you're getting started. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter what camera you have that's or true. what lighting you have or where you're filming at. Yep. What matters is what you are saying, exactly. right? And Casey Neistat said this, he said, stop focusing on how you're gonna deliver your content and focus on what you actually want to communicate so and your channel good. will be better. So good, and that's, it's not contradictory what you were saying because we've already built up, we've done, the, we've done steps nine through whatever step we're on right here, right? We've got engagement, we've got people who are watching, we got people who care. Now, we're just focused on the how do we bring more value to yeah. those people, right? So he, so, Taylor thought he was contradicting himself there, but he really, really isn't. We focused on the what first, right? We focused on what we were going to deliver, what our message was going to be. We weren't really focused on where we were filming or what we were filming with, any of that stuff. And the other stuff will come later and you'll be able to pay for it because of the what. Absolutely. And like, this is what we're talking about in what we want to communicate because 90% of people would have just cut that out. Yeah. And Kel would have been like, stop, Taylor, you're not being contradictory, say this. But we didn't yeah. because we're trying to help you understand, okay? Exactly. Number, Number two, two, do wow. you care? Do you? I'm not talking about do the other people care. Do you care about what you're talking about? I don't know, bro. It's kind of hard to speak to these people about stuff that we don't actually care about. Have you ever, Correct. Like when we're trying to make content every single day. Absolutely. It's hard to it's do that. It's so hard. But if you're passionate about what you're doing... It will flow and it will come much, much easier. And not only will it come easier, but it will be better. Yeah. If I can talk to you from a position of authority and a position of excitement and a position of I'm literally jumping up and down with how much I want to share this with you, yeah. then that's going to change the game, right? Because yep. right now, like you have to understand that Kel and I are obviously care. We obviously care and are passionate about making money, yeah. okay? You can't, I'm not going to deny that, yeah. okay? But what we are almost, almost more passionate about, Mm -hmm. care about more, is sharing how to do it with other people. Exactly. That is why we are daily on YouTube. That is why every single piece of content that we put out, we try to make it energetic. We try to make it engaging. We try to make it motivational or whatever we can do. It's because we care and we're passionate about what we're doing. We care about helping you. And so if we don't have passion, how are we going to expect you to have passion? So good. Okay, so number one, Is it the best that you can do? And we left this till the end because guys, I feel like there's always this moment because it's not easy. I don't know why we didn't say this initially, but making great content is not easy. If it was so easy, everyone would do it, okay? Everyone would have a million subscribers. Everyone would have a thousand billion subscribers on Instagram. Everyone would have everything that they want, but it's not easy. So you're gonna come to this point probably right after you turn the camera on and you say something stupid for the very first time where you want to quit and you want to just put up the first take and be like, eh, it's good enough. But that is the moment, guys. That is the moment between being great or being okay, average, I don't know, and being great. Like, can I add a little bit more audio to this? Can I add a sound effect here? Can I cut out some of this part where I'm rambling? Maybe this part right now. I don't know, guys, but is there something that you can do better before you hit that post button? Guys, multiple times, Kale and I have filmed entire videos, edited entire videos, watched the final product, and we're like, we can't put that on our YouTube channel. Exactly. Those go into the hidden vault of KT9 that will never, ever, ever be released, right? Exactly, because they're just terrible. And and guys, 
they can, it can be a hard moment. Even if it's just you in front of a camera, which is probably most of you, it can be hard to be honest enough with yourself, watch it back and say, that sucked. You can do better, you are better, you can do better. If you have a partner, sometimes it's hard too because Taylor will do a take of something and I'll be like, bro, like that wasn't good enough. You have to be louder, you have to be more energetic. So you have to have the balls or yep. have, the, have the gumption to stand up and say what you actually think and actually believe. Is gumption a real word? Oh yeah. Is it really? Yeah, someone type gumption below, my loyal KT Thomas, people. Thomas, if gumption is a real word, put the definition right here. It's gonna I, be right there. I, I just, I've never, <laughs> you don't think it listen! Is. If you're making content, once again, for a YouTube channel, for a Facebook ad, for an Instagram or an Instagram story, for an ad to sell a product, whether yes. it's on Amazon FBA or a different digital product, whatever you're doing, whether you're making ads and content to push affiliate links that you have, right? Yes. Whatever you're doing, run every piece of content that you through are putting out nine through questions. those nine questions, okay? And what those nine questions will do is it will start to give you a filter. And I know some of you may have been coming in this video, especially if you're still here right now as part of the Loyal Nine fam, and you were more looking for like a how to um, like come up with the ideas for content. Like yeah. Taylor, Kale, how do you guys every day, day in and day out, have different ideas for different videos to explain things in different ways to put up every single day, okay? Yeah. If that was you, okay? If you're like, how do you actually come up with the actual topics, yeah. okay? Go down below and type in the red parrot. The red parrot <laughs> is the keyword, okay. the code word. The red parrot. For how we come up with topics, how we come up with the actual content. And if we get enough people typing the red parrot down below, we'll make a video on that too. That's so cool. So love you guys. We're here every single night. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, I hate to say it to you, you're missing out on amazing content every night at nine. Yo. If you've got something cool out of this video, smash that like button for me, share it with someone else who could benefit, and we will see you tomorrow night at nine o'clock. Peace out.